welcome to Ian HRP on YouTube and welcome to today's video, my very first Olympus Pro Lens. Hello then, welcome to today's video, which is for the Olympus 12 to 40 millimeter f2.8 Pro Lens, my first ever pro lens for any camera system even with my canon i never uh, got their l series lenses and i thought i would uh, treat myself this was uh, brought second hand and i would always recommend that you look for second hand lenses um for these brand new they are about 700 pound i believe um but from second hand you can pick them up from about 350 to 400 pound going so you get a big saving and to be fair this lens you would only know from there's a slight sort of wear, there's a little scratch there, there's a little bit of wear on the lens cap, but apart from that, the actual optics of itself are perfectly fine. Uh, very nice lens indeed. Um, you can tell the pro quality of it, and you can tell the build quality of it. Now, Olympus have got quite a number of pro lenses for their Micro Four Thirds system. Um, the zooms that I was looking at in particular were this one, the 12 to 40. Um, I was also looking at the 14 to 100 or 12 to 100, 12 to 100 it is, isn't it? Which is the F4. Um, and I did even consider the um, big zoom lens that they have, but that's about 1500 pounds. So I wasn't going to go for that one. So let's have a look around the lens then. So obviously you have the lens cap. Those are your um, the front glass. It's a very nice piece of glass. So well produced as well. Um, you have the Olympus MZCO Digital 12 to 40 millimeter 2.8, and it's a 62 um, millimeter thread for your filter, which I have on the front. So 12 to 40 in the Micro Four Thirds world is equivalent to 24 to 80 in the full frame camera world, the 35 millimeter world, um, because you double the focal length on the camera to get your equivalent. So it is pretty much like the standard lens that a lot of people have when they're walking around um, but this one is probably about half the size of the uh, Canon Nikon equivalent and half the weight as well um, so you have around the feature I like this little feature here if you pull that down that automatically turns the uh, lens into manual zoom so one of the things I've noticed with my um, Olympus OMD EM10 Mark II is that to turn the manual focus autofocus on or off you have to go into the menus or you assign a button on the uh, function keys whereas with um, the canon cameras there was obviously a little normally a little switch on there that you could flick up and down you can't do that on here but what you can do is just very quickly pull that up and down like that and that turns it from autofocus to manual focus which is very useful to have, especially if you're doing a bit of close-up photography as well. Um, you have your um, distance gauge on the uh, on the manual focus ring, so it goes from two millimeters, or sorry, twenty centimeters to infinity, and it feels very nice as well. It's um, nice, smooth action when you uh, move the rings, and then you have the function button here which you can pre-program, or you can program, it comes pre-programmed to um, stop the focus. So if you've hit focus and then you want to move the camera slightly, you just press that button and it stops the camera from hunting for focus again, which is very useful indeed. And then, of course, you do have the um, weather sealing, the little uh, rubber lip there, um, which gives you the weather sealing. It doesn't for that because this camera isn't weather sealed, but if you've got the... Um, M5 or the M1, EM1 or EM5, then I believe both of those are weather sealed. So, so attaching the lens to the camera. Now, obviously, I've got my extended grip on here because I feel like I need it. When you don't have um, the grip on or a grip on, um, it does slightly, it doesn't really balance well, but with the grip, it works very well indeed. So, let me get my dots lined up. attach the lens and there you go it is big for this camera it does look like a big lens but in the hand it actually feels um nicely balanced as well there's no sort of worry the fact that the um it feels on balance for me i think it feels really nice it is a big lens it's a chunky lens but compared to uh, dslr it's not a chunky lens it's a nice thin lens um, and it does look 
nice on the camera as well. Right, let's have a look at some of the uh, pictures I've taken with this um, to show you the quality. And I have to say, compared to the other lenses I've had for this camera, the quality on this, you can tell the money, definitely. Let's have a look at some pictures. <laughs> Let's just quickly look at the auto focusing. It's very quick. Um, as you can tell, it is amazing what a good bit of glass does for good. Zooming, very, very quick indeed. Um, throughout the focal length, it's just as quick focusing on uh, whatever you do. It clicks on and picks up very, very quickly. So one of the advantages of having an f2.8 lens is the fact that in low light, I've turned off my uh, external light at the moment, um, the camera is able to pick up and let in a lot of light through the lens. So it works ideally for low light situations. You get a lot of light coming in, um, which means you can have your shutter speed nice and low when you're in low light as well. Indoors and stuff like that, it's very good for that. So then, overall impressions, as you can see from the photos, they come out very, very sharp indeed. Um, this is probably the nicest lens I have ever owned, and I've owned quite a few. Um, build quality-wise, image quality-wise, and just construction-wise, um, it is so worth the money. If there's one thing, you've brought your camera, and uh, you want a good lens. The kit lens on that is fine, it's okay, but... The little pancake lens, I don't particularly like it myself, I have to be honest. Um, I don't like the uh, motorized zoom, I like the manual zoom um, that you have with these types of lenses. So my recommendation, if you've got a camera like this, if you're looking for a lens to buy, buy a pro lens if you can. The uh, difference in quality between this and the non-pro range um, is quite stark actually. And uh, it's a very, very good investment. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. There'll be more videos coming up soon here on the channel. If you've liked it, give it a thumbs up, manky thumb. Um, if you haven't liked it, give it a thumbs down. That's fine. I don't really mind. But if you do like it, why not subscribe for more videos like this? Right. Until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.